resellers. I have a really quick thrift haul for you today. I stopped in at one of my favorite thrift stores. Uh, they weren't having a sale or anything, but I got there pretty early and ended up leaving with a lot more than what I typically spend at this store. That being said, I did buy a few things for myself and I did pay up for at least two items I can think of off the top of my head because if you know um, how I source and how I thrift, I usually try to stick with $5 or less. Um, so I just want to show you guys some things that I picked up, why I picked up what I did, what I feel like it will sell for, and then also show you the items that I bought for myself. Because if you're anything like me, reselling kind of spawned out of a love of thrifting. Um, and the love of thrifting at one point was definitely a necessity. Um, now it is definitely uh, by choice. I still choose to thrift. I will buy something new as almost a last resort. I, you know, I'll buy it new if I'm getting a really good deal on it. But I always check the thrift stores for my my own personal items also. So um, let me show you guys what I bought. Um, let's start with this necklace. I actually saw a, a, a reseller on Instagram selling some gorgeous turquoise rings that morning. This was Friday morning. And um, oh man, did it get me in the mood for turquoise. <laughs> and I thought, oh my gosh, I just think that these are so beautiful, these rings. Let me go to my thrift store and see if I can find any turquoise rings. And they don't have any rings in there um, for like really the last several weeks, but they did have some gorgeous turquoise. And this is, I don't know if you can tell, like it's an actual stone. <laughs> and you'll see some more of that jewelry. Oh wait, this is another piece. Okay, so this necklace, I got at the thrift for $2. I really thought it was gorgeous. This was my least favorite of any of them until I got home and tried it on. And I love how it pairs with this um, just Johnny Cash shirt. And I got this bracelet here at the thrift store as well. Bracelets are supposed to be $1, but she charged me two for this. I wasn't going to complain. I really thought it was beautiful. And the thrift store benefits a really great charity. So picked this piece of turquoise jewelry and this one up $2 a piece. Next up, I have, have you ever seen one of these? It's called the Schmuzzle Puzzle by Schmuzzles. I saw this and I was just researching puzzles um, a couple days ago on eBay. And when I research, I'll type in puzzles and then I filter by sold. And then I filter and sort those highest price to lowest price because I want to know what are the puzzles that are bringing the most money. Now, I didn't see this on there, but this is a puzzle. This looked odd enough to me to want to look it up. It is definitely vintage. This is from 1981, 1980 and 81 is what it says. And this is really cool. It says the puzzle with 168 identically shaped pieces. Every piece in this puzzle is shaped like a salamander. So they all fit together. There are dozens, hundreds, thousands of ways to put this puzzle together wrong. This it would be right, but then they still fit together and you may have the puzzle um, together wrong. So this is actually brand new. These were kind of all over the place. It looks like the collectors of these want um, certain patterns more than others. And I haven't found this one yet, but this will bring at least $30 and it's still put together in there. It's never even been, um, the pieces have never been broken out and I paid $1 for this. So this will, this will bring at least $30 plus shipping. Excited about that. The next piece, um, I probably won't sell this. If I do sell this, I have this really cool gallery wall. It's a couple videos back. It's in, um, it is in my Valentine's Day, like, uh, not Valentine's Day, Christmas gift ideas thrift. It's behind me, that really cool gallery wall in my basement. This is probably going up in there. This is a velvet painting of a matador super beautiful but some of the pieces on that wall are for sale but they are at a price where someone's gonna have to buy it from me i love 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 mid-century i love mid-century art and um this velvet painting to me i don't know it just it is so cool i love this so i paid two dollars for this um don't know that it's gonna be for sale you guys comment and tell me should i sell him he's kind of beautiful you know um, I just really, really like this. So this is probably not going to be for sale. Tell me what you think if I should sell it. While I was um, looking up comps though, a little bellow for you here. If you ever see velvet paintings and their nudes, um, they're, those were the ones that were selling for really good money. So again, go into eBay, type in uh, velvet painting, filter by sold, sort by highest price. And they were all like nudes. And they were going, some of them, for hundreds of dollars. So just because the velvet paintings are kind of cheap doesn't mean that they're going to sell for cheap. Let me show you guys some more of the turquoise that I got. Again, this turquoise is for me, but this was all marked 925 silver. Um, so I got this graduated. 
Um, if the beads are larger at the bottom and then they go to smaller, you would call that a graduated bead if you're looking for keywords. Like if this one is so beautiful, it's got lots of different colors in there. I got this piece. I don't know if I need all of these. Maybe I should sell some of them. This one is very similar, but I also think they'd look really cool stacked. These were $2 a piece, all marked 925. Um, and then this one, isn't this pretty? It has like a coppery rose gold beads on it. I thought that was super, super pretty. They're not exactly as long as what I might like, um, but I just love turquoise. <laughs> I think it looks like super boho and eclectic, which is my style. Next up, um, let me show you guys something that I did buy for sale. I have seen these for kids, but I never even knew that they made these for men. These are vintage and they're gorgeous. Hang on a second. These are men's. I paid up for these. Um, I paid $8 for these. Vintage Oshkosh conductor style striped overalls. These say that they're 36, but my husband um, is like a 32 and he tried these on and they fit him perfectly. These are Oshkosh and they're vest back. I've sold Oshkosh vest back for kids for like $50, $60. If you don't know, that is definitely a bolo if you find vintage Oshkosh for kids. Um, but I've never seen them for men. These go for over $100 on eBay. So I paid $8. Uh, my lovely thrift store, of course, wrote eight in Sharpie marker. So I'll be working to get that out, probably use hairspray. But $8 into $100, it definitely fits my business model of aiming at 10 times my money. So um, I'm excited about those. Those are pretty cool. This piece I bought for me. I can't be friends with you if you would have left this in the thrift store. If you wouldn't have at least picked it up to resell it, but if you wouldn't have bought it for you. This is a gold and like gold lame. Like this. Look how shiny this is. This is Anne Klein for new aspects. So I don't think there's anything super, super special about this um, blazer. Let me just keep this on for the rest of the video. It kind of goes with the Johnny Cash vibe. I should have wore this today. I didn't wear this because it was in this pile of stuff to show you guys the thrift haul. How beautiful is this? Let's just keep this on the rest of the video, okay? Because if you don't already love it, it's gonna grow on you. <laughs> um, all right, next up I have this. What's up with me finding really expensive items new with tags at this particular thrift store? This is Pendleton, new with $249 tags. But it's not a blanket, it's not wool, it's a dress. It's a beautiful dress though. This is a size eight petite. I thought about trying it on, but I thought, I don't know, would I just be wearing it because it's like this lavish, expensive thing? Because it's probably not a style I would pick out. Obviously, look at my gold blazer. Um, so this will probably go up for sale. The unfortunate thing was, while these may um, gather $250 in the Pendleton store or wherever it is that they sell them, Nordstrom's or something, um, they don't really do so hot on resale, but I'm hoping to get at least around $50 mark for this maybe. Um, this was $3.50. So, perfect. These I bought for me, but I don't understand. I'm five foot seven, but I have like a long torso and pretty short legs. And lately when I buy jeans, I don't understand who they're made for because my legs are pretty short. And these, like I was, they were way, way, way too high for me. These are beautiful Levi's straight leg. Um, they are 505 straight. And they're in a size 31 and they just were too short for me. They're super beautiful though, in really good condition and I paid $2 for these. So um, I would imagine these are gonna end up selling on Poshmark, but they will go up on Poshmark and eBay both. Um, they're not vintage, they are newer style, but they're really, really pretty. And I'm, I'm sad that they are too short. I almost thought about cutting them off in the summer to make shorts, but I probably won't. I'll probably just sell these and let someone else enjoy them. So I got those. I got a really cool pair of men's Levi's, Levi's orange tabs. So these are late 70s, early 80s. Let me show you the tag here. Beautiful paper tag. Doesn't say Levi's anywhere on it. And they say waist is a 38, length is 30, and 536 would be the factory code right here, 536. We match that with the button that says 536. These are beautiful. 
dark, dark wash, incredibly good condition. These are light new. So I'm sure that I will get somewhere north of $30 for these, probably between $30 and $40 for these. And are these marked in red? These are not marked in red. They mark their items in red if they're marked them up, if they've marked them up. So that means I paid two dollars for these. Next up. Oh, I got another really cool pair of men's vintage denim. I love selling vintage denim. I just think there is no quality like vintage denim and then they're not making this anymore. So these are Wranglers. These are so cool. What a beautiful wash to these. And I don't know what size these are. I have my husband try them on. Again, he's a 32 and they fit him really well in the waist. So I will give measurements um, on these for sure. And I'll probably just lay my tape measure across from here to here. And I don't write the measurements in the description. I take a photo of that and um, that saves a little bit of time also, but I take a photo of that and that way they know exactly where I measured the waist from. There is no discrepancy about my measurements when you can see a photo with the tape measure laying here to here and that's the measurement that I provide to you. So these again were not marked red, so these were $2 and I'm sure I will get at least 30 bucks out of these. Wranglers, a pretty hot item, kind of hipster right now. Um, I have a few more items. This I bought, it was, it's a little card game and it was inside this bag and all I could see was these vintage little cards. And so I bought it thinking I might play this with my son, my youngest is four. And I thought, but it's vintage so I could sell it. And I got it home and it is not vintage. It just looks vintage. I, they totally got me guys, but it's a dollar. So the cards are so cute. Look at these. So adorable. Anyway, it's like this matchup game. It's called heads or tails or heads and tails I couldn't find a single comp for it we'll probably just keep it around my house and play it tell me if you've ever played that game um I have been wanting to find one of these for I'm not gonna say forever for about a week <laughs> because I keep seeing everyone posting about these sorry my hair's crazy today I keep seeing everyone post about these better homes and gardens cookbooks and I uh, the binder cookbooks I walk in and there it is, and it is $3. I'll have to get that off the back. Um, with these Better Homes and Garden cookbooks, you want the binder book, you want the pages obviously still in there. But what's most important and what's gonna differentiate the value on these books is the age and the printing, okay? Because some of them are from the 50s, 60s. This is from 1976. It says it right in here where you would see like the copyright information. And then in addition to saying 1976, it says third printing. So I was able to look that up. Third printing 1976 goes um, for $30 plus shipping. So my $3 into 30, it fits the business model, you guys. Um, it's really simple. You don't have to get so emotionally attached to items. You just need to pick up items that fit your business model. If you don't have a business model, that's when you're going to end up in the thrift store saying, should I buy this? Should I not buy this? Is the profit margin there? Um, I aim for spending $5 or less and 10 times my money. I found, you guys, I found a daggum drum set. You know, this is obviously not the whole drum set. This is just the pedal. I paid $10 for a PlayStation wired um, Guitar Hero rock band drum set. So this particular one is going for around $100. That does include shipping on most of them, it looks like. So I'll have to figure out the best, most cost-effective way to ship them. If you know one, drop the comment below. Uh, $10 into $100, but it will not be 100 after fees. They had an Xbox one. If you follow me on Instagram, you saw that they had an Xbox one as well. But it was dirty. Like, I, no part of me wants to sit down and scrub the filth off of something like that with with whatever. I'm just not in, interested in it. Not even a little bit. There's so much money in our thrift stores that I would rather put the money somewhere else to something that does not have to be scrubbed. I will not scrub really dirty shoes either. So I bought this one for $10, PlayStation 1. Um, it's upstairs. I wasn't going to show it in this video. The last thing that I found, it made me think of actually um, a shout out to a fellow reseller and YouTuber, um, Bama Pickin' and Grinning. His, uh, he and his son thrift and they'll go to yard sales and things. And then his, I think it's his older son, really likes wrestling. And so when I saw this, I was like, oh, I bet they would pick this up. <sighs> these are heavy. This is, um, these are poker chips. They, it's 300 premium casino style clay chips. And there's, I bought two packs of these. They were $2 each. And I'm having a lot of trouble finding comps for these on eBay. I think I'm going to end up probably around $30 for these. They're beautiful chips and they have like the dealer button. You know, it all has the WWE logo on them. So 
yeah, I'm going to have to, again, shout out to Bama Pickin' and Grinning here on YouTube. Um, I'll, I'll link below to his channel uh, because I get a kick out of him and his son um, thrifting and finding things to resell. So tell me if you guys want to pick those up. That is it. That's all that I picked up. Tell me how much also that you like my turquoise and my gold. Thank you guys so much for watching. God bless you. Remember to treat your business like your business and uh, happy thrifting this week.